Hey you all, my name is Dreamy. I am a full-time cam model and OnlyFans content creator and I'm creating this video to tell you the ways that I've been successful and the things I've been doing as a cam model. Okay, so I'm gonna start off first with a little backstory. Um, I started Chatterbait back in September 2020. That was after I had started my OnlyFans, which I started in, the, in May of 2020. Um, I had a friend tell me about it and it just seemed like a good way to advertise for my OnlyFans. Uh, so if you have one, that's obviously like, it's hard to grow on that. It's not only hard to keep reliable sub subs, but it's also hard to advertise just because they don't have a discovery page. Um, so in social media, it's not sex worker friendly. So besides like Twitter, and there's some other ones like Reddit, um, but that's like too complicated for me, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I just stick to Twitter. Um, so yeah, it just seemed like a great way to advertise to drive traffic towards my OnlyFans. Um, I started, I did not live alone when I started it. I did it at nighttime after everyone went to bed for like an hour or two um, on top of my already part-time job that I was working. So it was just a way to drive in extra income because at the time I was traveling from Kentucky to my goal destination, which was in California. And I was pit stopped in the middle. <laughs> well, not too far, but I had a pit stop uh, so I can kind of just recollect myself. Um, and yeah, and then I went like full time camming. Um, just to let you know too, like when I first started, I didn't show my face, I didn't talk. Um, I for sure kept it into the boundaries of like what I was comfortable with and what I wanted to do. Um, there are plenty of people out there who don't show, cam models I should say, um, who you know don't show their face and don't like engage like verbally with their uh, viewers who are still successful and still bring in and income so yeah so tip number one is set up your bots I stream on chatterbait well I started off streaming on chatterbait and now I stream on chatterbait my free cams and strip chat um, I wouldn't suggest starting off that way just because it can feel a little overwhelming for sure um, choose the site that you feel like aligns with you work on it once you get comfortable add another site once you get comfortable, you can add another site. I don't know if I'll do more than three because like when it gets busy, it feels a little overwhelming. And I do, I am just like a quality person. I would want people to um, feel like I'm engaging with them and I don't want to be like everywhere and not being able to get my attention. I feel pretty balanced with three right now. Um, so yeah, bots are gonna be amazing. They are gonna rotate. Um, advertisement for you. You can advertise for your OnlyFans. You can advertise for um, an upcoming show. You can advertise your social media and it's going to rotate and pop up in the chat as the show is going on so people can see it. Um, then you also have your tip menu and that's going to pop up in the chat. You can put it, um, you know, show people every two minutes or five minutes. And they can even come into your room and type in tip menu and it will pop up what you offer, how much it's going to cost. Um, and there's also games. I like the roll the dice game. It offers, um, I just, I think that, I don't think my tip menu is expensive based on other cam models um, and the types of show that I do. Uh, I've gradually been raising my prices over time. Uh, just because when I started out, like I couldn't, I wasn't gonna charge like a thousand tokens for me to get naked. Like that, I, someone probably would have paid it. It probably just would have taken a long time to find that someone. Um, so I'm gradually raising my prices, but some someone may not be able to afford, um, you know, for me to do something on my tip menu. But they may see that. Um, I have a roll of dice for like 25 tokens or 50 tokens and they can still participate in the show without like breaking the bank if that makes sense. So that is tip number one. Okay, tip number two, um, be consistent and be patient and also allow yourself a lot of grace in this situation. I don't want to sit here and tell you that you have to work eight to 10 hours to bring income on, um, income in streaming but 
um, cause there's plenty of girls who hop on there and um, they're really successful very quickly. And that's kind of just like their journey. My journey was not that. <laughs> um, I went full time and I was streaming eight to 10 hours just because um, I had a $1,700 rent now. So be patient, be consistent, um, stay positive, stay positive. <laughs> um, your environment too is so important. Uh, and I'm not saying that in a way of like being completely alone or having the perfect situation. Cause like if that was the case, I would have never started camming. But like when I go into my room, I want to make sure like my bed's made, like my toys are clean. I'm clean. My room is picked up. Like maybe I need to vacuum my floor cause I don't want dog hair, you know, uh, stuck to my feet <laughs> you know so it's like that type of thing like take care of your space take care of you make sure like when we're online and we're being vulnerable and like using our body as art um it can be tough it can be like it can be a lot on our body we can have some long privates um you know it's also our sexuality so like don't taint that experience like if anything, like just like give to yourself, take care of yourself. Um, if you had like a really long private and you're like, damn, I've only been on for like two hours, like I don't really want to get off, but my body is so tired. Like listen to your body, give yourself some time, log on, do a night show, maybe hit a different like, like that's okay. So I just want to make sure that's like really important. Please take care of yourself. Um, if there's people in your room being nasty, like ban them. Do not even take in any of that negative energy. Like it is a pay to play in my room. And if you're coming in and you ask, I don't care if you're new, I'm not giving you a warning. If you come in and you ask for something free, I'm banning you. I'm banning you for, and I think it's like 30 days. Try again in 30 days. If I, if I remember you, I'm banning you forever. <laughs> Like, I just, I will not align with that. I do not even give in to, like, people who may um, try and say things to get a reaction out of you. Because I truly, that, I feel like that's a kink. Like, people will hop into your room, say mean things so you can get pissy back at them. And they're just, like, having, like, a good old day, like, enjoying themselves while you do it. And then you're giving them, like, a free show. Don't fall for that. So, I don't even remember what tip we were on, but those I feel like are important. Um, also, tip gifts. Like, sometimes if you're new, this happened to me, they'll take a picture of, uh, like, um, like, one token. It'll be like a little gif, and it looks like they tipped you a token, but they really just copy and pasted a picture. It should always say so-and-so tipped so-and-so tokens. It should always say that. If it just says one token or 12 tokens, it is a GIF and you can you can click on it and it'll tell you that it's a GIF. But, it, but also just make sure, especially in the beginning, if something feels sketchy, you can go to your token history and you can see every single token. Um, I noticed it because he was tipping like 10 tokens and then I went to look at my how many tokens I had and it said zero and I knew I got fucked. So it was horrible. So I'm gonna go on to tip three and finish. So be patient, be consistent, and have grace with yourself and self-care, self-care, self-care. Okay, so social media, tip number four. <laughs> social media, I have an Instagram, I have a Twitter, I have a free Snapchat, and I have a premium Snapchat. I advertise all of these on every single campsite in my bio always have where people can find you oh yeah and my only fans and i'm free only fans duh that the most important <laughs> so advertise when you're online advertise where people can find you at the end of your shows so if you have a lot of people in your room and it's a really good day say out loud hey you all if you're enjoying the show and you want to support me further please go follow my social media. You'll also be updated and notified when I'm online and you'll also be able to just interact with me uh, on a closer level when I'm not online. So like 
you know, give them some initiative to be like, hey, you want more of me? This is where I can find you. And I think that's it on that one. Yeah, another tip too is like if someone um, that kind of goes in with like um, advertising yourself, if like someone tips you to like get naked or something and you stay naked for like three minutes, it's like that's your time. Um, when you're like, when you're three minutes over, just be like, hey, just to let you all know, it's 200 tokens if you want to keep me naked. You'd be surprised how many people would tip those 200 tokens just to keep you naked. Sometimes they won't, and you go ahead and you get dressed. But if you're done like doing something, just be like, hey, if you want me to keep going, tip this, you know. So advertise your tip menu too. And I think that's it. Okay, so um, I'm going to kind of go into privates. I'm going to try and bundle this. This is tip number five. Um, oh, drive tra traffic to your OnlyFans. So there's going to be some things like I don't offer any type of penetration on my public chat. They either have to take me to Snapchat. I mean, not Snapchat. They have to take me to private. Um, they can pay for like a Skype or they can go to my OnlyFans if they wanna see dildo content. So that gives initiative. Um, same when on your campsite pages, please upload your content. If you have content that you do not have posted on your campsite, you are losing money. You're not losing money, but you are shorting yourself of money. Um, yeah, if you have content, it should be on every single one of your campsites that you're active on. And I would even mark it up 5 to $7 just because um, that's another initiative I do to drive people to my um, OnlyFans. Is that like my free OnlyFans, my campsite, and um, yeah, on the campsites, those videos are marked up 5 to $7. Uh, and on my paid OnlyFans, it's way cheaper just because they're obviously paying a subscription price and it is a more steady form of income. And like, that's what I want. I want consistent income driving in from that always. So uh, that kind of gives some people some initiative. Um, also, Skype, let's talk about that. Skype and Snapchat. I have a premium Snapchat that is also posted on, um, some sites actually allow you to like put it in and then someone can tip it even if you're not online and they automatically get your, uh, your app name. Um, but for sure, advertise that. That's even a better way of like, you're into like advertising advertising like the girlfriend experience, I think you should totally consider having a premium Snapchat. Um, when it comes to Snapchat and Skype shows, I will say this until like the death of me. I don't know if girls are out here doing that. I don't think so, but you should verify every single person, especially if they're coming because they're going to come from your Instagram. They're going to come from your Twitter. And if they are not registered on a campsite, or if they're not, don't have an OnlyFans, because I have, they have no excuse, I have a free OnlyFans, they can go and subscribe to it. That way I know that they are of age. Um, always verify, always verify, and always take money first. If someone's giving you like the limbo and it's been like 10 minutes, 10 minutes is actually kind of long, I have zero, time for that like because people will do that like five minutes is my cap if you told me that you are going to send it and it's been five minutes like i'm probably blocking you because i just feel like you if you're not like downloading the app or if you say that you're like ready to go and it's been five minutes since you said that and you're fucking keeping me in limbo asking me a whole bunch of questions like fuck that you're getting blocked and then you'd be surprised too how many people will make another account to try and reach out to you again and be like well why did you block me and be like okay well then you can now pay like this $50 blocking fee on top of the service that you're wanting to um wanting to wanting to do and then sometimes people do that and sometimes that they don't so yeah, just please make sure you're verifying. Please make sure that you're always getting money first. Do not do anything without money. Do not do anything without money first. 
Okay, and I think this is the sixth one. I lost count, but find your niche. Watch other models, see what they're doing. Um, watch models that don't show their face. Watch models that don't talk. Watch models that strictly only have their ass like literally blown up to the cam and you can't see anything else because there are girls out there and they're very successful at that. Like you can, I usually show full face and everything and I'm talking and engaging see models who do that like find find shows that you're kind of like enjoying and you like the vibe of it and kind of just be like what are you inspired off of, off of that and just kind of make it into your own um yeah like I said do whatever you you feel comfortable with but I also want to inspire you to also like kind of try new things because like like for instance dirty talking like how many, how many of you like feel 100% comfortable dirty talking? I wouldn't raise my hand, <laughs> even now. And I feel like it's one of the things that that's like the guys like about my private shows because I don't really dirty talk in, um, in public chat. Um, I feel like I have good dirty talk, so it's just kind of like something I like to offer in private only. But like I for sure fumble over my words. I for sure have like said a complete sentence backwards once before. <laughs> Um, it's just like, and it was very uncomfortable to start doing at first because it was never something I did um, beforehand. And now I like, I really enjoy it. Like I personally can get off on it. Um, so it's something that like, if I were to want, like if someone were to like ask me what I wanted, I feel like I can better explain that. And like, that's a gift that sex work has offered me. Um, I've had privates where people, of course, I always talk about, I always like to talk about my privates, like in DM or message, just to get an idea of what they want first and make sure that it's, um, both within our boundaries. Um, so I've had privates where like, are you willing to try this? I'm like, yeah, we can try it. And then I've been like, okay, I'm totally into that shit. That was hot. <laughs> so yeah, just have fun with it. And you, especially with regulars, it's kind of fun. Um, and they'll come back to you if they, if they feel that it's genuine. Um, I think that's it. I do want to say one more thing. I feel like this would be completely shitty of me if I didn't say, but, um, ticket shows. I don't really do ticket shows because I have a lack of mindset about them. And so I, then I feel like I manifest a shitty ticket show. <laughs> Um, so ticket shows are basically where you can lock your room and someone has to pay a certain amount of tokens just to even enter your room. Um, so it's something that I see what a lot of couples do where they're kind of like warming up, teasing each other and the ticket shows timing down. You can purchase your tickets. You can kind of wait and get, you know, warmed up with them. And then the show, sh show starts and whoever has not bought a ticket obviously cannot view it. And you can, so that's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I think it can drive in a lot of tokens and a lot of money, especially if you have a good following. I've only been more successful at that. Usually at the end of my shows, if I'm feeling kind of like, let's do, you know, like, um, like a group show basically where they have to buy the ticket. Let's do a group show. Cause I'm about to get off here. And I may have like 300 people in my room. So there's a lot of people who um, have been watching me for a while and then maybe they kind of want to play with me. So then I can kind of do like a 10 minute timer and be like, okay, like buy your tickets. Like my room's gonna go private in 10 minutes. And then, you know, there's that. And then I'm done and I'm off. And it was kind of an easy way to bring in uh, a couple hundred tokens. And then, oh yeah, I didn't say this on the social media, but an Amazon wishlist. Uh, people didn't buy anything off my Amazon wishlist for a long time. <laughs> One, I didn't really advertise for it. And um, two, I don't know. I just don't think I had yet found like my community was still growing. But now a lot of my lingerie for like, since I feel like my April, has been bought off of my Amazon wishlist and I like a lot of tarot decks. So yeah, have an Amazon wishlist. Let people spoil you. You deserve to be spoiled. You deserve to be treated. 
um, and it's a great way because like some people don't want to put their card in through like tokens and all of that and they would love to gift you you know on Amazon <laughs> so yeah I think that is it if you enjoyed please like and comment follow um, all of my information on where you can find me and uh, my OnlyFans is down below so I hope that you have a lovely day and yeah see you on the next video